The inmates have taken over the prison, Jeff. <laughs> We're running things we now. We run this show, not you, us. <laughs> Welcome to Hotspot. I'm Jeff Erdman, and uh, your regular host, Rich Gallup, is, of course, out today on vacation. So um, I get the big desk, and uh, Ryan Davis. I get to sit down during the you show. You get to sit down over here. This is great. Yeah. I like it over here. It's cooler over here. It, it's very, I mean, you know, it's cooler, and it's cooler. And it's cooler. Yeah. yeah. That's not to say it's not cool over there. Kerry Gusco is pretty cool over where you're at, right? <laughs> I'm elbows and it's it's awesome. Yeah. What's on what's on the show today? Because I have no idea. <laughs> we like to keep you in the dark. There's actually a lot of really exciting stuff going on. It's actually going to be a great show today. Really? You missed, are you saying that we're are you saying that you have a great show for us have today? A great show, show for you today. All right, Fantastic. cool. I'm, I'm into that. Uh, what we got on the show? We got Guitar Hero two and. Uh, We've got actually got Red Octane back here. The legendary Mr. John Tam is here. The John uh, Tam? The man, the, the myth. The man himself, the legend. Uh, he's here, and I'm only saying that because he's standing like right over there. <laughs> and if I didn't say that, I don't know, maybe you get mad at me. Anyway, we also got Madden NFL for the Xbox 360. Uh, we've got Dead Rising. We've got Spy Hunter. Uh, Nowhere to Run with um, starring Triple H. No, that's the and rock. It's, it's the rock. Whatever, they're all the same. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we've also got a whole bunch of other segments. We, got, we went down to Comic-Con uh, last week, so we've got a segment coming up from that. Um, we're going to show you a little bit of our return to button mashing, the greatest game show of all time after Match Game. And lots of this other stuff. This is Button Mashing 06, uh, button as mashing opposed 06. to Match Game 74. Ah, so, ah yeah. yeah. That's and, the main uh, difference. We're missing some key players, I think. <laughs> is there going to be like a late night edition of... Uh, yeah, yeah, there's going to be Button <laughs> Mashing PM. Uh, we're getting Brett Summers and, and Charles Nelson oh, Raleigh in here for that. But uh, you don't need Brett CNR. Summers. CNR. Okay, all right. We have our own <laughs> Brett Summers. <laughs> Harry, you're right. <laughs> so moving on. Okay, Comic-Con is in San Diego. Apparently they have more than comic <laughs> books there. I, yeah, I don't know. Apparently there are like games and people uh, playing D&D &D and all kinds of uh, weird stuff. A lot, we, of, a lot of cloaks. A lot of cloaks, a lot of uh, cosplay. And uh, we sent some cameras down there to check that business out. So now why don't you check out uh, some of the game action that was found at Comic-Con. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Darkness will be released on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and will be released sometime next year. All right, we are back. That was uh, San Diego Comic Con. Crazy action in San Diego, and uh, one man who would know about that is John Tam. You've certainly been to San Diego. You're a you're a world traveler. You're out there making things happen, right? Been to San Diego. Again. Yeah. Grew up in L.A. Now, do you see people? A lot of people dressed up in, in crazy outfits, just walking the streets like that. Only in Comic Con. Yeah. Okay. It's like a little bubble in itself. Well, at least they keep that business Everybody contained. Else is like retired at San Diego. Or yeah. In college. Right. Yeah, or, or or fronting like they're just, they're, but they're not good enough to front in L.A. So they have to front in San Diego. Anyway, enough about that. John Tam, you're here to talk about Guitar Hero 2. Sure thing. Uh, which sure. I'm told is a rhythm music game of some kind. Yeah, is it, it's you this play little a little game called Guitar Hero, and it's yeah. all based on rhythm beat matching gameplay. So, and you play a plastic crazy guitar, right? Uh, we don't think of it as a crazy guitar, but we do. Think <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> awesome guitar. It, it, the guitar is an enabler. It's that crazy awesome. It, it enables you to be crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's take a look at this. We've got Brad over here. Um, Your resident pro at the game? Resident uh, rock god. Oh, <laughs> now he is inside the game. Oh um, We've digitally inserted Brad Shoemaker. <laughs> this is a new uh, feature of the game. Um, wow. Hopefully it'll be a Brad <laughs> free version. I'm, I'm, I'm so yeah, he's daddy. actually in the practice mode screen. Right now. Cool. So, so yeah, let's, let's talk about know. practice mode. This is... Uh, this is new to Guitar Hero 2. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, practice mode is one of those things that we really wanted to do for Guitar Hero 1, but because of scheduling, we're racing for Christmas, all of that. And for Guitar Hero, um, definitely we put that in the design documents. Harmonix has just put in the finishing touches into um, a lot of the screens in practice mode. We're ready to show it today. Cool. Well, then we... Uh Take a look so, at it, Brad. Why don't you do a little practice? What song are you doing here? Right, You're showing. Uh, I got I got everybody's favorite Kiss song, Strutter <laughs> here. So we're gonna do yeah. Strutter. So the screen that he was in, he's actually selecting which section he wanted to play. There, you can play the full song as it's shown there, or you can loop from A to B, and you get to determine which start and which finish it is. And okay. after this, after he actually selects it, so what is he on verse, chorus? Where's where's the where's the shreddingest part he can go to it's here? Always the solo. Solo A. So he's at solo one. Is that one A? One yeah. A. Yeah. So there's all these little sections. It's broken up, so you can select um, which you section like you want to start. Starting point and an ending point. Yeah, right? which oh, okay. can be the same. And right there is just showing the which screw, uh, the speed at which he plays it. At. So there's regular speed and then various. Uh, Levels of slowness. Now, see, this this seems like the sort of thing like uh, Bark at the Moon in the original game. It's like that exactly. solo just got Especially crazy. those really fast right. songs yeah. that have the crazy hammer ons and pull offs. And just like you see these notes and they're raining down like, like cats and dogs and you don't know what you to do. You don't even have a chance. It's just like you're not even sure. Oh, well, look how slow he's going. And that's oh. how you practice it. It's like the DJ Screw version of the song. Well, this is exactly what you want to do. You want to learn the fingering for these difficult sections of the song. And in Guitar Hero 1, the, the level of difficulty was, was built out 
evenly and it progressed really well. We spent yeah. a lot of time, harmonics did a great job of tuning that. And so um, for this, Red Octane and Harmonics, we really wanted to uh, make sure that practice mode is in there because you know what, Guitar Hero 2 is going to kill you. It's, there's so much rock in there, you're going to be overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to suffer from a rock overdose, John. <laughs> Hopefully not. You know, you'll be still standing at the end of the Maybe blue Ryan in the face. Can, Ryan can handle his rock. I know that from experience, <laughs> that, that Ryan will be okay. You know, people have asked us, where's the cocaine overdose, where's all these <laughs> yeah, things? Exactly. <laughs> Rock overdose. It's a, it's a teen rated title. So. Exactly. <laughs> so now with practice mode, we'll be able to uh, practice bass parts and, and yes. kind of... There you got to pick the, the lead or the second stream, either rhythm or rhythm bass. Rhythm or bass. Or yes. uh, okay, cool. So what is he doing now, Brad? What do you uh, want? I'm just going to play the solo again at full speed so you okay. guys can see. Cool. Because it was so, too <laughs> slow for you. Oh yeah, that was like the crazy acid soap. Not doing so good this time, are you, Brad? <laughs> you didn't practice it enough, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, it's killing you. Now he's in the venue playing. Anyway. You can't even see his notes. He's crazy. On top of it. Let me throw some questions your way from sure. you. The viewers out there at home, uh, don't forget to email in with your questions about uh, the games we're showing today. Carrie Goose Ghost, what do you have? I got questions. lots of questions. What do you got? Um, Ask away. Everybody wants to know uh, all, all the songs that are going to be in the game, so I'm sorry to say I'm not even going to bother asking that right now. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Marketing has gotten like me and their like, lock and key from talking about any of that stuff. But uh, how's so, it going? Are you still working uh, on some songs? We or is, is, are, is the list complete? The or, list you know? is complete, and you know what? It's Buried under Fort Knox, it's just so secretive. Can, can I ask you one question? Yes. Is it awesome? It's so awesome, you're gonna be blown away. All right. We, you know what? All the guys on the team selecting songs, they did a wonderful job. Ted, our AP, is over there, and he like he helped work with harmonics and our team and selecting music and working with our licensing guy. Cool. And we are so overwhelmed with the level of, of songs, and just we're really impressed actually. With, with the first game it. out there, did that make the process of acquiring more songs a little easier? Having a product to yeah, show and say here's it's what It's hard we're to all believe about. because we won like all these different like soundtrack awards and like and we thought that you know that was as good as it gets and then with Guitar Hero 2 it actually got easier to communicate the message to these guys because half of them had heard of it already and they're, yeah. they're like nephew and nieces and their kids were playing it. We have stories of, of Edge playing it with his kid. Paige Hamilton from Helmet talked to us about playing with his niece and awesome. stuff like that. So like it's out there, you know, tools playing this game. So right. like, you know, we've heard all these stories about real musicians loving this game and actually I, I was I was talking to um, some guys in the music industry and, mm -hmm. and I was telling them that the fact that they love this game is all we really wanted to do was basically pay homage to the music industry and what they've done with music and how they've entertained us and so uh, putting that experience into a box and uh, paying homage to rock and musicianship is really one of the visions of this game and you know harmonics them a lot of them play guitar and are in yeah. bands and stuff like that so and that shows in the game and shows how well they respect this industry and so the fact that cool they so going back to the set list they <laughs> sorry they they actually it, it made it easier because now they understand what we're trying to do and we're not going to you know make tomfoolery of their music you know right so Gary, uh, anything else over there? Yeah, I got a bunch of questions. For one example, uh, Wesley DeHeer from the Netherlands, um, he wants to know, will there be more than one guitar available for Guitar Hero 2? And specifically, like, will there be a bass guitar? Uh, is, can you play the bass parts and the rhythm parts? It's all going to be played on the same guitar. How is that going to work? On the same physical guitar, well, we don't want to make any of the controllers non-compatible, but people have always been talking to us about, we want more shapes, we want to do we want to do that. We have some stuff planned, but I have nothing to talk about today. Because <laughs> It's not because I don't want to, they just don't let me it's talk about this stuff. Well, it sounds like you it's got between you and me, John. It's not yeah, with the other right here. Here. <laughs> oh. I heard expo... What? what? <laughs> Another question. Yeah. Uh, from Kyle Churchill from Lexington, Massachusetts. Will you have to be in co-op mode to play the bass part? How does that work? You know what? I say this. Guitar Hero will always be about being the lead guitar in a rock and roll band. But the other thing is, it's kind of obvious that people want to play some of these things. And Brad already showed that you can pick the second stream in right. practice mode. So that's all I'll say. I mean, we're not stupid, but you know, the, the career mode will always be about playing lead guitar and stuff like that. So. Cool. All right, one more question, Carrie. One more question. All right, this, is, this might not get an answer, but I'm hoping it will. Nick Miller from Tucson, Arizona wants to know, are there any other songs, you don't have to say what they are, 
by the original artists other than Primus. So did you secure any more actual original songs? Yeah, I'm really glad that ooh, we got more uh, original tracks than just the Primus song. And that, one, that one's terrific because it's going to be really tough to match uh, the, the vocals on, on John the Fisherman and stuff like that. So we went out and got the master track. And You'll see more of that, yes. Awesome. Cool. Very cool. That's awesome. All right, John, thanks for coming by. The game is Guitar Hero 2, and we will have it back uh, later on in the show. But right now, we're going to kick it over to Carrie, who has Spy Hunter, nowhere to run with some wrestler guy. Is that? <laughs> well, actually, I have Justin, who is not a wrestler. <laughs> no. I, I beg uh, to differ. <laughs> but, well, all right. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you're here, you brought by Spy Hunter, nowhere to run. And we've seen it on the show a couple times before. Yeah. Um, and just just for anyone who, who isn't familiar with it, what is it exactly? So it, uh, I mean, if you know the Spy Hunter series, you know the big thing about it is the interceptor vehicle that you drive in, which yeah. is uh, it's like a heavily armed sports car that uh, can turn into a boat when it hits water, turns into a motorbike, and all that kind of stuff. And the original uh, games were all about this driving mechanic. Yeah, and this and so this is the first one in the series where you can get out of the car uh, as the Rock. Would be cooler if you were Chris Rock. You're the Rock, uh, and and actually, like I've I've played about half of the game at this point, and um, the weird thing is that you sp I've spent the vast majority of my time on foot, uh, and, and that's the mission I'm going to show you right now is uh, my interceptor's been stolen. Oh, there he is! Look at him. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna infiltrate this Nastro base and uh, try and get it back. All right. So now you said you've been spending most of the time on foot. So what is it, what kind of gameplay yeah. is it on foot? Uh, I mean, it's it's just a uh, it's third-person shooter, you know. I mean, but then I mean, there's there's never any shortage of weapons and stuff. But then, because you're the rock, you can do a lot of wrestling stuff as well. So it actually leads like right into one of the first questions that came in from Taylor from Peachtree City. He said, since the Rock is in this installment of Spy Hunter, does like Rey Mysterio or any other wrestler? <laughs> is there a lot of like wrestling in this game? How many, are there other wrestlers uh, in it, or I, I, do you know? <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> I ha uh, no, I, <laughs> I haven't seen any other wrestlers yet. Well, I I can only hope. Uh... I feel like there's, there's gonna be a lot of wrestling in the movies too. I think you know the, the Rock's been doing interviews and he said that like his finishing move, the Rock Bottom, is in there and all kinds of stuff. Oh, is so. he definitely in it? Because I thought that was still just a rumor. Is he? I, I, oh, I'm pretty sure he. It's in the game. It's definitely in the game. They uh, the last time they came by. Oh, I know it's in the game. No, the movie. movie. I didn't know he was in the movie. Here we. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do some wrestling right now. All right. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was excessive Thank no, you. and is, ridiculous. Is it control like a wrestling game? Uh, no, not really. You just you have like a light punch, a heavy punch, and a throw button, and you just you mix them up, and you can like if you get behind someone, you can get like a one throw kill and, and this kind of thing. So how much do you actually like? Because there's also gunfire and stuff in here. How how much do you actually use in the game? Is it more wrestling, more gunplay? Uh, I actually I gotta say I use a lot of wrestling. It's um it's it's probably more powerful than the guns in a lot of situations. Um, there's Just some, like actual there's some, wrestling. <laughs> there are some bad guys who are more or less immune to bullets, but if you get the Rock's fists in there, you can take them down. It's, uh, oops. So I'll take another question, unless, uh, well, I'll ask it first, and then I'll send some over. Jeff, you can start looking for some questions yourself. Uh, Blanche Lacroix from Ottawa wants to know what kind of bosses are there in the game. What how, what have you seen so far? Uh, there's, I haven't seen that many actually. There was there was one who was a, kind of a female a sniper up on a tower, um, and it took me a while to figure out how to beat her. And, and wrestling wasn't the answer because she was out of reach. Um, even for the Rock, yeah, he doesn't have for, like stretch arms. Uh, or she, was, she was way up there. Uh, I don't be careful I don't die. I'm not concentrating. <laughs> I'm trying, Come to, on, I'm trying to distract you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there we go. All right, here's another one. Albert uh, from Union City wants to know, did The Rock also do the voice for the game? I, yeah, I think he did. Does it I, sound, so it sounds oops. like The Rock? Yeah, definitely. So The Rock says things in this? He, I don't, <laughs> see, I, I don't watch a lot of wrestling, so I don't know if he Hilarious. says like Rock trademark <laughs> quotes or anything. But, um, but he doesn't refer I to himself as The Rock it. because he's someone else entirely. Well, he's supposed to be Alex Decker, but... You're playing as the rock, really. And, yeah. and so Alex the rock. Decker. And I'm dying. <laughs> All right, okay. last it's okay. question. There are here. checkpoints everywhere. We'll be fine. Uh, from Kai in the UK uh, wants to know how many different weapons are in the game and uh, what's the best weapon you've seen so far? Uh, I don't know how many there are. I, I'd say this, I've probably seen at least like maybe 10 different kind of guns, and there's also like hammers and fire axes and stuff you can pick up. Are they standard weapons like machine gun, you know, pistol, shotgun, yeah, that kind of thing? Pretty much. But there's, also, there's, also a rocket, there's a rocket launcher as well. How about like a folding chair? A hammer? <laughs> it, I was, you know, I was thinking of writing that into the review, uh, preview, <laughs> like wishing there was like a chair or a stepladder or something. It's just like, 
Uh, I'm actually going to ask you another question that I'm stealing away from Jeff. Uh, Matt Bluebaugh from Powell, do you prefer the driving or the third person and shooter sections? And maybe as a, a part of that, can you a answer how much there is of each? See, well, it's difficult to say how much there is of each just because early on in the game, uh, the interceptor gets stolen. So then you spend quite a few missions just trying to get it back. But now I've got it back. I'm hoping the kind of latter half of the game is going to be a lot more driving. So um, you they're, they're, they're actually both kind of fun. Oh, they're both. Uh, I've, I've got kind of into this third person thing, but it's just not what I expect from Spy Hunter. I, I like the old Spy Hunter games, so. So this is a good kind of action adventure. It seems like it's going to be an interesting action adventure game. You've got to stop talking to me, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Are we distracting you, Justin? Are we I didn't hear you? a word you just said. He's pulling a Justin. I over just, there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And Brad is grinning Don't, over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know, Jeff, do you have another question? One more? No, let's move on. All right. <laughs> Spy Hunter coming soon uh, to so, a game yeah, console uh, near September. you in the theater. So, Rich isn't here, so I'm going to make the Where bad segue. Uh, speaking of things that were old and now they're back, like Spy Hunter. <laughs> we, we You're right, this is horrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing Rich justice. We, we brought back button mashing. Oh, he's going to hate you for that. Uh, Jeff, would you like to speak on that some more? Sure. So, button mashing uh, is what's button mashing? Button Jeff? mashing, Ryan, is uh, a game show that we did around here. Um, you know, following in the footsteps of such epic game shows as Card Sharks. As I love Card Match Sharks. Match Game Seventy Four, but not Seventy Five. What about like Joker's Wild? Uh, Joker's Wild, Remote Control, all these greats. Yes. Family all, Feud. What about what about what, what about like Family Feud? Family no, Feud. No feud. Unfortunately, what? You know, I, I'm not not saying that Family Feud's a bad game show. It better not. Dawson. Yeah, much love. Much love out there, <laughs> baby. Uh, whatever. You know, he heard me talk about it. Let's watch a little bit of button mashing.
So there you have it. Uh, that is uh, button mashing our game show, and it is back. Uh, there will be more coming soon. Uh, but of course, you can watch the the full version of that episode on the site right now. Before you go anywhere, yeah. Who picks Double Dragon B mode as their game? <laughs> what? Craig Beers. <laughs> what? Craig Beers is a Double hey. Dragon B mode kind of guy. And that worked out for him, didn't it? Yeah, yeah uh, I, it he did. won. Yeah, so he won. was so lucky. <laughs> he was so lucky. It was, it was definitely down to the wire. What? What would I saw you were on that? What would your game have been? Guilty Gear. Was Guilty game. Gear. Eh, guilty. We mean eh. I mean eh. eh. That? Enough about oh, that. I'm sorry. What's your game, Jeff? Uh, it probably I don't know, Blitz or uh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of football, I'm here with Brian Eckberg, uh, sports assassin, <laughs> and you have Madden NFL 07 for the Xbox 360. That's right. Yes, for yep the uh, next gen version of uh, the all popular Madden series and what we're looking at here is superstar mode. Now th this is the mode where you basically play one role the entire game, Exactly. Right? right now what we're showing off, you can play any position on the field other than kicker, which is makes sense because who wants to be a kicker? I do. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> it's you, a too bad. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. But yeah, no, uh, any other position on the field is fair game. What happens is right now we're playing with the Raiders and we're playing as a quarterback. You don't call the plays uh, as a quarterback. You can call an audible if you want to, but for the most part, when you're on the field, you know, this guy's calling a running play. The coach has called a running play, so as a quarterback, I'm not going to get to do anything other than, uh, you know, hand the ball off. But when it's a passing, hopefully they'll call a passing play here in a bit, uh, and you can see how that works. But as you can tell, the, the, you know, basically once the ball is off and the running back takes off, I can control the player, I can control the quarterback, maybe pick up a block here and there, but for the most part, Control is taken out of your hand hands once you've you know fulfilled your role uh -huh. as a quarterback. So now how detailed do the controls get? Like I saw, you know, the, the quarterback definitely goes up and makes like he still has the ball. Is yep. that a button you're hitting to no, make that, that happen? No, that's actually that's actually fairly automatic. I, I'm not actually sure if maybe at a higher difficulty level, I uh, just got oh, sacked, sacked there. And that was you that got sacked. That, that was totally my like fault. Like the computer. No, no, definitely yeah, well, what's, not. What's with the ego modifier there? Well, what happens is those are basically influence points. What the game refers to them as influence points, and basically if you do a play right, if you complete a pass. Like here's a passing play. Uh, if you complete a pass, you'll get some points that you can then spend on your player, on somebody else on your team, or if you're a really great player, you can actually intimidate other members, uh, you know, opposite team members, you know. So you can intimidate a, de a de defensive back and make him play crappy for a, for a play. But uh, so here, here we've got a passing play. I'll pull back, and I can set my primary receiver by hit hitting the appropriate button. You see it's, it's cycling through there. Yeah. So when I pull back... So now you see my perspective is changed. It's a little bit different than how Madden works. You're really playing from that quarterback perspective. It's lower. You have to look over your offensive and defensive linemen and really see, you know, where there's an open, uh, open receiver. I did good there in four points, first down and a completion. Basically, the the, the game works, you know, like this in in every position. You have very position, you know, position specific controls that are, you know, if I'm playing a running back. And on this play, the quarterback would hand off to me, and then I've got control of that running back, and I'm going to run, a, a, you know, run the route that I'm supposed to. So it's a definitely a you can play any position on the field. Why don't we try a different position now? I've got a couple yeah. preloaded here. Well, but well, you load that up. Well, actually, I have a question for you. What sure. about defense? Can you do a defensive position? Absolutely, you can play defensive back, defensive lineman, linebacker, and it's really different controls. The defensive back is probably the most difficult position to play because you're really shadowing, you're supposed to shadow a, you know, a wide receiver, they're really fast, they turn on a dime, and it, it's really challenging, but it's, you know, it, it took me a while to get used to, but it, it's yeah, definitely a challenge. So yeah. now, if you're playing the quarterback, when your team's on defense, does it show all those plays? Can you skip back to where you'd be in control, or you kind of, you have to watch things unfold in, in real game time? Exactly. When, when you aren't on the field, the, mm -hmm. the, the game just plays. Okay. And so, and like sometimes you'll play, if you choose your career guy as a fullback, you won't even be on the field in some plays. A fullback right. isn't on the field all the time. So, um, in those cases, the game just takes place and 
you watch it unfold, and then when, you're, when your number is called, you come back on the field. We're actually going to load up a, a linebacker, so I'll uh, let folks see what, what that's like. Cool. Um, In the meantime, Carrie, got any questions over there? Sure. I got a, a bunch of questions. Uh, one is actually a very specific question, but I'm kind of going to make it a little broader. From Everett Covington from Yeadon, Pennsylvania, it wants to know, can you be T.O.? So maybe, can you be specific players, or are you a, a no-name linebacker yeah. or rece you, wide receiver or whatever? Right. You, you, you create your own player in this mode, and... You, you know, the thing is, within the game, within the mode, you, you can definitely decide what kind of personality you want your player to have, whether he's going to be a real pain, whether he's going to be like a, a media darling or mm -hmm. a, a team player. In fact, in the mode, in, when you're play on the field, there's ways to decide what kind of player you want to be, whether you want to play as a superstar or a lone wolf, a guy who's only looking out for himself or a guy who really wants to you know, help his team. Uh, there's different ways you can play and different roles you can play that that will define your player. But no, you can't play as a as a currently existing NFL player. So you could conceivably create a character named Terrell Owens. Absolutely. And no one's going to stop you from doing that. No, well, not at all. I might. <laughs> Br bring it on. <laughs> um, so is this is this a, a feature that is going to be in all versions? Because I know we're looking at the 360 version, but is, this will be in the the Xbox and the PS2 version. It's in all versions. I, I believe I actually checked out the Xbox version and the PS2 version today, and I think it's a little bit different there. There, it seems like you play the game more as a traditional Madden game as opposed to specifically focusing on on you know One the position player. that you're playing. Okay. Uh, I may be wrong about that. It, it needs a little bit more investigation, but definitely in the 360 version, you're def you're only playing that position, and you're really focusing on the different controls that each uh, that each player has. In fact, it, folks should I just put up a a, a new uh, preview of Madden talking about all the different positions on the field, the different controls that they have, and you know how they play. So people should definitely check that out. So here I am playing as a linebacker. You see, I'm a left out, uh, you know, an outside linebacker. And I've got my my responsibility is tied to that running back. So where, wherever he's going, I you know I didn't do too well there. But that's that's your assignment. And if you're in zone coverage, there's a little oval, just like a typical Madden play for zone coverage. Show you'll, where you need exactly. to be guarding. So right here, you'll see in this play, I'm in zone coverage. So I'll need to back up a little bit, and my zone is out outside there to the left. So. Um, yeah, and now I'm playing as a linebacker. You know, a linebacker is the kind of guy that can go and make a sack or go for a, you know, a, a big tackle or even make an interception. So it's a definitely a different way of playing the game, and your responsibilities are completely different depending yeah. on whatever position yeah. you choose. Cool. Carrie, one last question. Well, I just want to ask my own personal question. How fun is it to do that, Brian? Uh, some positions are more fun than others, I have to admit. Like, you can play offensive linemen, but there's really only two controls. You can cut block or, or uh, you know, impact block a guy. And, yeah, I guess there's some challenge there to that, but... Really, I think most people will want to play the positions that see the ball all the time, like quarterback and halfback. Um, and on defense, uh, you know, I think defensive line is pretty fun because that's typically what I play in Madden anyway. But, you know, the fact that you can play however you want is, is definitely doesn't hurt the game. It's just I think some positions will be more popular than others. Crazy. All right. Well, uh, look on the site for more information about uh, Madden's Superstar Mode and, and uh, some more general information about the rest of the game as well. Absolutely. All right. Check yeah. it out. <clears throat> Meanwhile, let's go over to Kerry, who's with Matt Rory, and they have some zombie Zombies? action. Zombies. Zombies. In the face. In the face. So I'm excited about Zombies. this. So you brought by Dead Rising. I have. Now Actually. we've seen a little bit Dead Rising before. We've run around the mall a little bit. Mm -hmm. What are you going to show? I'm going to show the hardware store. I don't think we've ever seen that on the show. No, today. I don't think so. Obviously, there's uh, plenty <laughs> of good stuff in the hardware store. Oh, a little guitar hair action for you. If you nice. Want. <laughs> Is this one of John Tan's guitars? Uh, we you can see. Okay, here we get the uh, lawnmower. I'm just going to go ahead and pick some stuff up and just start running people down with it. That's oh. right, you guys. You get points for cutting off their legs of the uh, the lawnmower. If you are under the age of 18, please avert your eyes. Uh, you can uh, listen, but you can't watch. Ask your parent or guardian if it's okay if you to see zombies get mowed down with a lawnmower. Oh, I'm going to try and get an excavator here for a second. This is one of my favorite parts of the... Uh, so they're yeah. everywhere. There's, there's seriously zombies everywhere. Oh, there's like everywhere. zombies all over the place here, so... Ah, get her off, get her off. Here's an excavator right here. Some of the items you can get are actually uh, gas-powered, so you have to turn them on. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god. That's kind of uncool. <laughs> Matt, you're sick. No, wait, so how long does this weapon last? Can you just keep this oh, weapon forever? No, uh, all the gas powered stuff do, do run out of gas eventually. I'm going to try and get a... The cool thing about this one, you can actually throw the uh, corpse at people. Oh my god, wait, do it again, do it again. No, I'm going to get a chainsaw <laughs> no, now. do it again. Chainsaw, chainsaw. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> what did that zombie do to you, Rory? <laughs> Christ! <laughs> this okay. is awesome. <laughs> uh, this is wrong. <laughs> no, you, is Hard Place still like the most fun you've had so far? It is very fun. There's also in the same little area of the mall. Uh, there's also here. I'm gonna get a skylight. I think. Here we go. Skylight. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like Hardcore uh. wrestling match or something. <laughs> uh, you find light tubes and thumbtacks. What too. is that in your hammer? Is that a nail gun? Uh, thumb machine gun. Oh, thumb machine gun. Oh, do you have like regular boring weapons too? You have. Yeah. There's uh. There's also sniper rifles and uh. I, handguns. But some of them are pretty difficult to get. Let's Can you do that. the rock bottom in this game? <laughs> <laughs> there is a wrestling book that actually... Uh, Does it teach you wrestling moves? It just makes your... Uh, here's a mailbox. Everything in the hardware oh, store yes. is good to go. Oh. <laughs> right. Zombie oh. cops. So what are you, are you supposed to kill like all the zombies in the store, or like how does it work? What's there are a the bunch objective? of there are a bunch of different little missions that you can do. Uh, most of the time, you just want to avoid the zombies as best you can, but sometimes it's not always possible, and you have to just survive. What was that? That was like a button timing game or something where you have to like. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I don't want to die. Let me see if I can get some health up here. Orange juice. Orange juice is the best for health. Oh, oh one nice. of the best. Two by four. Very can you nice. hit people with the orange juice? I uh, just drink it and it gives you health back. So that's, that's no really fun. good stuff. Oh, I have a uh, Dude, smoke stack. Dude, plenty fun. <laughs> All right, let's uh, oh fire some God. questions your way here. Go for um, it. Adam in England wants to know, how long do you think this game would keep a person occupied? Uh, it depends. At, it's hard to tell at this point. I mean, after you beat it for the first time, you can uh, play through it again with different modes. The first time you go through, you only have 72 hours to get all the missions done. But as you get, uh, be as you beat it, I think you'll unlock like five or seven days, and eventually like unlimited time in the mall, so you can have as much time as you want to. And it, it, are you going to pretty much require those? I know one of the achievements is to like kill 53,000 zombies or something. Is that something you could conceivably do in that 72-hour period? Or, or I would to... say so. If you're really dedicated, you could probably get that done. Uh, oh, this thing's so good. Yeah. <laughs> This, oh, is really, this is really the best thing I've ever seen. This is seen. probably the greatest weapon in a game ever. The not limbs even, actually fly games, off as you I've hit people, with too. Eyes. The limbs actually fly off as you hit people, too. It's, it's really <laughs> incredible. Anthony in Vegas wants to know, are there any uh, mini-games to be found in there? Any, any crazy zombie mini-games? I know you, like, you can take pictures and stuff a lot. There are a bunch of, like, uh, yeah, there are a bunch of like, picture tags that you can take. There are special things you can take pictures of, and they'll get you more points. Uh, and there are a bunch of, like, uh, they're called scoop missions, which... Uh, allow you to uh, do like different little stuff like escorts and things like that for points. So Here we go. Yes! You're probably not in a very good position to actually uh, show it, but what do you know about erotica photos as oh, erotica they relate photos, to Dead Rising, of course? They're difficult. You have to get... There's some, uh, there are some quests that require you to take specific types of photos, and erotica photos are basically like... Uh, People who are nude or, or stuff like that. Wait, can, there are people naked in this game? There are half-naked zombies, like ladies wearing very little clothing, and you can actually take pictures of them and get erotica points for it, so it's interesting. That's, like, this that's, game you know, this is, is wrong, gross. Jeff. That's yeah, just, I, I know. Take, I take offense to No, no, seriously? So Isn't that like, awesome? It's pretty awesome. I think stabbing them in the guts is all right, but taking pictures of naked lady zombies... That's just wrong. That's just wrong, dude. But you know what else goes wrong? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for showing us Dead Rising. No problem at all. Uh, you know what else goes wrong around here? You know, our video stuff, you know, people write in and say, oh, it's so professionally done or whatever, but, you know, we're not perfect, Ryan Davis. Well, yeah, some of us aren't. Thanks. Oh, you ain't Thanks perfect, Ryan Davis. All right, but, you know, we've got uh, there some... There are glitches, there are hiccups. Yeah, things happen. Uh, wackiness ensues. It's just the nature of the beast. Uh, so how about now we take a look at uh, some excerpts from a video piece we cut together. Here's some stuff that uh, didn't make it in. Thank you. 
So you remember that? Vaguely. I yeah, remember vaguely. that. Carrie remembers that. That was, was I. It was very difficult to keep a straight face. That there, was I mean, the there are a whole there is a whole tape full of other stuff we didn't use. Oh yeah. Uh, there's always a tape yeah, full of stuff. I'm always, always mortified about what the video guys are gonna cut together at some point. Like sitting me sitting here like, <laughs> I, I don't know, doing stuff. Yeah. But you know, so that was something that ended up on the site. But sometimes things just don't end up on the site at all. Um, so let's show a little bit of that uh, now. This, uh, you know, with with Portal being a, a recent game that a lot of people are excited about, we we took a look at Portal and uh, well, we created this. So take a look. Man, we need one of those. Dave, Dave, get in here. Yeah, what you need, man? All right, man. You know stuff about like computers and technology or whatever, right? Apparently so. All right, man. Portal gun. Yeah. What what can you do for me? I can make you one if you need one. Dude, we need a port. We need a portal gun, oh, Dave. Really? Yeah. I can do it, man. Yes. I'm right on it. Go See you later, man. Yeah, what you need, man? All right, man. You know stuff about like computers and. Tech It was funny, um, a lot of people don't know the, the, the swag video, the E3 swag video, uh, is actually uh, kind of loosely based on uh, this, it's called The Knife Show. Yes, The Knife, the show. knife show. And they, with, with Tom they, O'Dell. Yes, and Todd Boone. Todd yeah, Boone, so, the um, dynamic duo. The, the, the ultimate dynamic duo in the history of, of, of home shopping, home advertising. These guys... So many knives. Carrie, you, I know you love <laughs> knives. Well, no. So what's amazing about the knife show is that every time you go to Jeff's house, every single time, the knife show is on television. And I, I think we've spent countless hours standing there, sitting there, I think the three of us, uh, attempting to buy knives. Yes? Yeah. It's, it's always... Resisting. Exactly. Yeah. Resisting it, it the It just looks so the good. There's like knives. a sweet sword or like this fantasy knife thing that's got like spikes around the, the handle. Ra the raven. The gold <laughs> duster. I think the reason we want to... We want to... Um, Oh my god, I just forgot what I was going to say. All right, well, enough about that. Why don't we show this other video about Portal we produced. We did another one? Yeah, we did too. I thought so the first one was so good. The first one was really good, but it was over some people's heads, so we made this one. It's a little lower level, so check it out. Man, we need one of those. Dave, Dave, get in here. Yeah, what you need, man? All right, man. You know stuff about like computers and technology or whatever, right? Apparently so. All right, man. Portal gun. Yeah. What what can you do for me? I can make you one if you need one. Dude, we need a port. We need a portal gun, oh, Dave. Really? Yeah. I can do it, man. Yes. I'm right on it. Go. See you later, man.
Clarify your thinking with portals. Now, see, the, the video didn't show it, but I'm drinking milk out of a jar <laughs> inside that portal, I'm pretty sure. It went back into time and, and found me last night drinking out of a jar. That's, That's what I do at home. You drink out of jars? Yeah, just like John Tam. It was back. No, I'm not allowed to drink out of the jar. Really? <laughs> all right. Well, you should. Someone rules the roost at home, and so. Well, you know, I got all the, this moonshine set up. You come by. We've got jars. It's, it's, it's cool. how it works. Come cool. by. We'll, we'll make it happen. But you guys have. We have sweet rock guitars. With you. Yes. That's gear. That is uh, gig heavy. ready gear there. Because this is a bass, and so it's heavy. Yeah. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about these, John? Well, it's a little story. You know, last year when we were on the show. Um, we just thought we'd just ask a couple of people, like, hey, Logitech, you want to give away some stuff on the show with Guitar Hero? Because it's like, you know, you want to play Amplified and play Powered Up. For sure. The sound, stuff like that, make it sound good, better than your TVs, blah, 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 blah. And you guys went nuts saying, that, you know, best giveaway ever. And so I said, you know, I can do better than that, <laughs> okay? So, so, let me, so you're going you're gonna to give these away? Yes. Well, the story is, you know, I keep on saying we believe in musicianship. We believe yeah. in musicianship and whatnot. And so I just gave a little call to Gibson and said, hey, you know, we want to see if we can give away some guitars and support musicianship and bridge the gap between playing virtually in the game and actually playing music. Yeah, speaking and of so, playing virtually, Brad's over there doing it. Yep. Brad, rock. Yeah. Are you ready for a real guitar, Brad? Can rock. Can Maybe. you rock some? I can sort of try to yeah. rock a little. <laughs> so, so what, I mean, just for the folks at home, what models, what are we looking at here with um, these guitars? These are both Epiphone models, but this is a great place to start in the Gibson lineup. Uh -huh. This is, uh, I believe this is the EBO. It's based on the SG shape, but it's a base. And this is a dot .335, so it's a 335 body, the okay. ES-335. So. Cool. So these are great guitars. Yeah. And, I mean, this 335, I was telling uh, Ted, you know, he, what he wants to do is wants to swap this one out. So for the winner, make sure you get this one because I think that Ted's trying to swap it out and steal it with a, <laughs> with a, with a PlayStation SG controller. So uh, it right. sounds so good. We'll keep it locked up. We'll yeah. definitely have to keep that locked up. So yes, you heard right. We are going to be uh, giving these away. We have a trivia contest coming up at the end of the show. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we've got Brad over there playing uh, the song As Made Famous by Van Halen, uh, You Really Got Me. So let's take a look at Brad. That's, yeah. Brad looks a little sweaty. Yeah. Working, Brad. A little hot over here. You're no try Eddie. Try rocking a little harder. <laughs> Where's Ryan, the David, you try rocking a little harder. I don't need to try. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, getting a, a few more questions coming in here. Maybe a little less serious. End of the show. People cutting loose a bit. Clayton wants to know, are you likely to do a, a drum hero game, triangle hero? You know, it's, uh, there's been, <laughs> yeah. there's been talk hero. out there. What's I cool? keep on you know, trying. Like, what's going on with you guys? You know, what I think would be really cool is harmonica hero for the DS, mm -hmm. where you can put a, a cartridge insert where you can blow into the GBA cartridge port <laughs> and actually see the screen in front of you, kind of go back and so forth. So that'll be out this fall, right? But you know, the, <laughs> it's stuck in R&D. The R&D guys like, um, Kill you us. know this. Low through <laughs> controller, we can't do it. That's so. not something John can just cobble together at home. Yeah, we're still working on that part, so it's the accessory that's really making it difficult. <laughs> cool, cool. How about you, Carrie? You got any uh, questions over there? Uh, well, one question that somebody asked earlier that I wanted to just make sure that you had answered, John, uh, is there going to be doubles practice mode? Can you practice with two people? Um, no, it's not in the spec right now. The re real reason is because, you know, when you're playing co op, you don't really fail anyway. I mean, you do fail in, in co-op, but it's a different experience, and people will right, be playing right. different tracks and stuff like that. Which track do you want to practice, start and finish? So really, like career mode, practice mode is really for that one guy sitting by, by himself playing. But when you're partying, you're really, really playing cooperative or competitively, and so we have the other modes for that. So, but, uh, Like, one of the real focuses this time around is, is that kind of cooperative play, right? You yeah. know, it's like rocking together, not... Yeah. And that was the whole purpose of the, the second stream in co-op yeah. mode, to be together, to feel like you're in the band together. So right. adding that second guitar, here we're showing, you know, guitar and bass, so it's that whole thing of togetherness, you know, we cool. love each other. So then Guitar Hero 3 has got the drums and the keyboard player, and you got the, the karaoke yeah, keep works on in talking. There. Yeah, keep on talking, yeah, yeah. Coming this, come this Patricia, fall, PlayStation right 3 here. launch game, you heard, it here, you heard it here first, PS3 launch, <laughs> Guitar Hero 3. Sure thing, Patricia. <laughs> All right, so why don't we uh, get to the trivia portion of the show here and see if we can 
See if we can find homes for these axes, this axis so, base. Um, yeah, we prepared two questions, and let's see. Are they going to come on screen? So the first question, oh, maybe not. Well, if, if, if you're a... a okay, there it is. Question. Okay, which Gibson guitar shape is best suited for the new character shown for Guitar Hero 2 thus far? Yeah, so, you know, look on your screen, the window right there, select the question one, pick the, the so right you, thing. So obviously you need to answer both these questions because this package is just too awesome for just one question. So we have two questions. Two questions. The second question is for... Hello. <laughs> They got to fire that stuff up. Too. For uh, name at least two si two of the two the signature guitars for the same Gibson guitar shape. So for that uh, Gibson guitar shape, um, for the first question, name two of the signature models. And if you answer, you know, first person that answers both of these, they will get both both of these wonderful guitars. And also, there's more stuff. It's a starter package, so there's also uh, a Gibson tube amp, cool, and uh, straps and strings for everything. So, so you'll be like halfway to starting a band at this point, basically. Yeah, you know, they cool. say learn three chords and you're ready to start a band. Right? <laughs> exactly. So you got all the equipment, just learn your three chords and you're ready to. That's like people play Guitar Hero one, so they know to you know not trust drummers and, and lead singers and stuff like that. What are the, the loading screen jokes this time around? Are they, they focused around. No, it's not all final yeah. right now, but cool. you know, humor is part of the game. It's part of the the cool. whole experience. So Absolutely. All we'll right. Be there. Well, John, thanks for coming by, and thanks for for bringing these these great gifts. Guitar Hero Two. Uh, when can we expect to see it on store shelves? Right now, still, we're targeting November. November. Yes. Cool. Fantastic. Guitar Hero Two. Ripping. Very ripping. All right. So. Brad, how's it going over there? All right, it's kind of hard to play this game without sound, as you well know. Right. Well, maybe if you were playing it on, on a on a beach or something. What? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. If you I'm were going to get to the beach. You know, the magic of the internet makes anything possible, Brad. You just have to want it bad enough. I, I do want it. I want it a lot. How, how's this going to happen, though? I I don't know anymore. I'm I thought stop, I knew at one I'm point. Stop I don't. I just don't know. Start <laughs> Jeff, you don't know anything anymore. I, that's that's right. I don't. <laughs> so wait, can we reiterate how people are supposed to be sending in these questions? It's not by mail form, correct? It is into the trivia thing, right? Y yes, it's part of the GameSpot trivia. Okay. So yeah. make sure you're sending them in the trivia form and not answering it into the into the mail. Yes, definitely. Use the use the trivia form on the page. That or use email. Okay, actually, okay. We're being told the trivia form is not working properly. So enter via email. All right. Send your answers in. Uh, well, then I think we already have a winner, but I'm not gonna say his name. All right. Well, or her name. We'll we'll pick one uh, at a later date and uh, announce the winners on next week's show. <laughs> Chaos, baby. Chaos. <laughs> this is what happens when Rich goes out of town. We're all like. Help me. Okay, so email <laughs> email into on the spot at gamespot.com with your answers for the trivia question. Little technical difficulties uh, getting in the way of, of the trivia form and, and all that business. But say it one more time. Can you ask the clear. questions one more time also? On the spot at gamespot.com. Yes, let's let's uh, run through those questions one more time. If we can, can we show those again? Can we can we show those up on screen? Can we get those? Uh, which guitar shape is best suited for the new character? Uh, shown for Guitar Hero 2. Right. And the second one being, uh, for that shape, name two of the signature Gibson guitars. For that shape, okay. Yeah. For that shape. So there are your questions. Get out there, start doing your homework. Though, really, you know, you might already know this stuff. Yeah. You might already know it if, you, if you're uh, real serious. So, great. That's pretty awesome. Guitars. Guitars. Guitars John are pretty awesome. He showed up and he gave me this guitar. He gave you this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Awesome stuff. Cool. Well, all right. Uh, it's been an exciting show. Of course, Guitar Hero 2, uh, Madden NFL 07, uh, Spy Hunter Dead Rising, uh, a lot of great looking stuff. want to say thanks to uh, Brad and Matt and Justin for coming by, Brian for bringing by stuff, of course, uh, John Tam, Red Octane, and uh, the fine folks at Gibson for the guitars. Um, in the meantime, Brad, why don't you take us out of here? All right. What'll do? Rip it up. Okay. Har Oh yeah! The magic of the oh. internet. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I guess through now portal technology. <laughs> yeah, cool. And you yeah. thought the lights on the set were hot? He's at the beach, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Spring break party! Take off your top. Take off your top. <laughs> we were kidding. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, let's let's send this home. For everyone out there, thanks for watching. And, of course, for the crew here, thanks for uh, having a great show. You guys get some paper towels and uh, wipe Brad down. He's, <laughs> he's very, very damp. He's ruining that guitar. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week right here live and on the spot. Thanks for watching.